Hey there, and welcome to the 2016 Indiana Conference Day 2. Yesterday we were richly blessed to share in the opening worship service, to elect a new treasurer, to also honor those who passed away in the past year, and many other wonderful activities. Let's take a look at some of the things that happened yesterday. Are you Methodist this morning? The opening worship featured a surprise visit from John Wesley. Well, really Bert Kite, our Central District Superintendent, representing the founder of Methodism. Bishop Mike preached and included Reverend Adolf Hansen with a special hope story. I want them to understand what happened when my daughter was killed right here outside of the convention center. And to understand that in the midst of tragedy, people can find hope, sometimes just a glimmer of it, and over time, it can grow a little more and a little more and a little more. And uh, my concern was that people would understand that tragedy doesn't have to destroy hope, but hope can emerge in the midst of tragedy. The body also elected Ian Hall as the new conference treasurer. Ian, so you were just elected as the new conference treasurer. Tell us how you feel. I, I feel honored to have been elected as treasurer for the conference, and I look forward to continuing to work with the conference as we fulfill our mission of making disciples. Awesome. So you presented several uh, pieces of information this morning to the conference. Tell me a little bit more about that. Well, the first thing I talked about was the fact that in 2015, we have a surplus of approximately $50,000. This is definitely something to be celebrated. And we are using those funds. We've added them to our reserve fund, and we're going to use that to protect the longevity of the conference in case of a financial need that we don't predict is going to happen. Thank you so much. And we're thankful to have you as our new treasurer. Well, hey, thank you. David V.W. Owen represented the African University's campaign's successful strides of $1.3 million raised toward their $1.6 million goal. And the campaign also named a scholarship after the Reverend Bill Keith, who passed away in 2015. Cindy Reynolds, executive assistant to the bishop, shared some of the ways we as a conference can help with the transition as Bishop Mike retires on August 31st. Top of the list, prayer. Reynolds also shared that another way to honor Bishop Mike's legacy is to make a gift in his honor to the Building Discipleships campaign. Since the launch of the $9 million campaign, more than $7.7 .7 million has been raised to support this endeavor to honor Bishop Mike's legacy. During an evening service of Remembrance and Holy Communion, members and guests celebrated the lives of those clergy and spouses who died in the past year. Dr. Elise Fulbright, Director of Leadership Development, shared a powerful message of hope for this service which inspired the body. Elise, thank you so much for your message in the service of Remembrance and Holy Communion. What's the message of hope that you want people to take home? I believe the message of hope is remembering those that have labored be before us. I think that the groundwork that they have laid through their ty tireless service uh, here in the Indiana Conference and beyond really does pave the way for us to be, continue to be faithful. And oftentimes we fail in our faithfulness and there's a world who is needing to see, to hear, and to experience that. So that is my hope message for this annual conference session. Thank you so much. And here's your list of upcoming events for the day. Thanks so much for joining us today. We look forward to all that's ahead, and we hope that you'll continue the conversation online with our hashtag INUMC, and also visit inumc.org slash AC16 for more information about conference. And before we leave, we also have a special visitor that wants to say goodbye. It's Bishop Mike, and you should find him at hashtag where's Bishop Mike. Thanks so much. Bye.